इस चैनल पर दिखाई गई वीडियो केवल इंटरनेट से ली हुई जानकारी के आधार पर प्रकाशित की जा रही है Shocking facts about black magic on Diwali 1 with Diwali approaching near. The demand for owls, red sand boa and turtles with 20 nails has increased once again as people are trying to secure these animals for use in tantric rituals said to bring great fortune to the person conducting the rituals. To apart from those seeking owls to sacrifice ritually on Diwali night, there are some who want the owls simply to earn money from showing it to believers on Diwali night. Owls weighing more than 2.5 kilograms, with reddish eyes and ear tufts like the rock eagle owl, and the brown wood owl are in high demand with people ready to pay exorbitant prices. I also got calls asking if I could get the owls in Malsi Deer Park for a couple of days after which the bird would be returned alive. The ongoing strike of forest guards has affected wildlife protection considering the information I received about some owls being trapped at Haldwani. He said. Three black magic has traditionally referred to the use of supernatural powers or magic for evil and selfish purposes. With respect to the left hand path and right hand path dichotomy, black magic is the malicious, left hand counterpart of benevolent white magic. In modern times, some find that the definition of black magic has been convoluted by people who define magic or ritualistic practices that they disapprove of as black magic. For during the Renaissance, many magical practices and rituals were considered evil or religious and by extension, black magic in the broad sense. Witchcraft and non-mainstream esoteric study were prohibited and targeted by the Inquisition. As a result, natural magic developed as a way for thinkers and intellectuals, like Marsilio Ficino, Abbot Johannes Trithemius and Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, to advance esoteric and ritualistic study though still often in secret, without significant persecution. Five in particular, though, the term was most commonly reserved for those accused of invoking demons, and other evil spirits, those hexing or cursing their neighbors, those using magic to destroy crops, and those capable of leaving their earthly bodies, and traveling great distances in spirit, to which the Malleus Maleficarum, devotes one long and important chapter. Summers also highlights the etymological development of the term necromancer, in common use from 1200 to approximately 1500, Latin, Niger, Black, Greek, Mantia, divination, broadly one skilled in the black arts. 6. In a modern context, the line between white magic and black magic is somewhat clearer and most modern definitions focus on intent rather than practice. There is also an extent to which many modern Wicca and witchcraft practitioners have sought to distance themselves from those intent on practicing black magic. Those who seek to do harm or evil are less likely to be accepted into mainstream Wiccan circles or covens in an era where benevolent magic is increasingly associated with New Age Gnosticism and self-help spiritualism. 7. The influence of popular culture has allowed other practices to be drawn in under the broad banner of black magic including the concept of Satanism. While the invocation of demons or spirits is an accepted part of black magic, this practice is distinct from the worship or deification of such spiritual beings. 8. The links and interaction between black magic and religion are many and varied. Beyond black magic's links to organized Satanism or its historical persecution by Christianity and its inquisitions, there are links between religious and black magic rituals. The Black Mass, for example, is a sacrilegious parody of the Catholic Mass. Likewise, assaining, though primarily a practice of white magic, is a Wiccan ritual analogous to a christening or baptism for an infant. 